Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars, but with a twist. A blast from the past with Walk Back Wednesday. Let's do it. Our first one today is from the Danimal 70. Can someone make me some good baked ham? And if you can't cook, don't even offer. I look at it like since you're asking someone to cook for you, it shouldn't matter whether they can cook or not, because if they tried, at least they did something you were unwilling to do. This next one is by username 37419. Good Samaritan anonymously pays $16,000 worth of customer laybys at Toy Store. That's a nice gesture and all, but surely you could donate it to someone who couldn't afford toys at all? Most families I know that use lay-by for toys are doing it simply so they can be stored out of the house until just before Christmas, not because they are short of money. It doesn't surprise me that somebody parting with $16,000 of their own money isn't good enough for a choosing beggar because we all know choosing beggars are never satisfied. This next one is by Gunnerbot57. I think the price could have been a bit lower considering the coronavirus epidemic and a game could have been added at a lower price. Before this all happened, there were good package deals. That may be the case, but before all this happened, not as many people were struggling financially, so you gotta weigh that factor too. This next one is by The Creepy 12. Hey, I like your art. Oh, thanks dude, really appreciate it. Do you draw for people? Commissions? Uh, I'm really fed up with work to do lately, so I haven't been doing them really. But if it's something easy, I might have a few free hours later today. Can you draw Kirito from SAO in Epic Pose? I want it for my profile in another page. Hello? Hey, sorry, told you I'm busy. Yeah, I could try that. Don't draw too much anime, but I'd try my best. Tell you what, I don't know how it'd end up looking like, so how about you pay half now, in full price whenever it's finished? And if you don't like it, I'll refund the half you gave me. I usually price around 5 to 10 euros, depending how long it takes me. Can't you do it not for free? I'm sorry dear, but the time and effort it takes is not free. I could do it myself. Why do you have to make me pay? You know what? You're right. I'll get back to you in an hour or so with some progress to see how you like it. Sounds good. Cool beans. What? Hello? Hey, started the drawing. How you like it so far? Sin's pick. Fuck you. If you can do it yourself, go ahead. Is this a joke? I tried my best. You are a girl. What does that even have to do? <laughs> You're bitch. Glad you liked it then. Oh yeah, because to this choosing beggar, drawings apparently draw themselves. There's not an artist giving up of their time to draw the picture for them. This next one is from Plots Crossed. 10% off is not a discount. It actually is a discount of, oh, I don't know, maybe 10%. This next one is by Hanksa13. Hello, one of my students lost their house due to tornado last week. They lost all their animals and my student is absolutely distraught that they lost their cat. As their teacher, I wanted to buy them a cat as a surprise Christmas present. I asked my principal about it and she thought that was a head idea. Turns out, she ended up telling the family and now they are wanting a $1,000 purebred cat. I do not have that kind of money, and I do not believe in shopping for pets either. What should I do about this? I am absolutely infuriated she did that. Would it be wrong of me to go ahead and go to the Humane Society and adopt a cat like I was originally planning to do? It's sad that they lost their cat, which, let's face it, animals are definitely a part of family. However, if somebody's willing to do a gesture and buy you another cat, you can't really make demands and say you want a thousand dollar purebred cat. This next one is by Krogo Yago. I'd give you ten dollars. Okay. The money is in your mailbox. Thank you. You put ten in mailbox. 
The table was 30. My listing clearly says 30. I have cameras out front with your car in you. I will five you half hour to rectify or I will be going to police. I have your tag number too. I'm hoping this was just a mistake and not deliberate. You can bring back or give me the 20. Half hour, then I'm calling authorities. What? I would win since you agreed to $10. I'm not going on another hour drive. You can come pick it up from me if you give me back my $10. I'm not bringing it back to you. I hope you realize this is your mistake, not mine. I will let the cops pick it up from you. That's fine. I'm offering to give it back. How can you be so dense? I'm not driving to pick it up. I'm done dealing with you. Gonna let cops deal with it. Okay, they're gonna tell you it's a civil matter. They're not going to be your delivery boys. We all know that, but the choosing beggar doesn't, so they'll most likely call, be told that, and then realize they done made a mistake. This next one is from Something Asian. Hi, sorry to message out of the blue. How are you doing? Can I ask a favor of you? Hey man, a long time no speak. All good here, thanks. How's things on your end? And sure, what's up? Well, this is a bit random, but I'm in a little debt, and I know you have some more cash at the moment, so I was wondering if you can give me some. Um, I can lend you some money if you're able to pay me back. I'm not rolling in it at the moment. <laughs> well, I have to pay you back? Come on, man. I thought we were mates. Is this a joke? No. Thought we were mates. Ob's not. If you're only mates because you're hoping one day money will change hands from their hand to yours, that's a wrong reason to be mates with someone. Apparently, you weren't a true mate. This next one is by I am the best 12345678902. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate the help and I'm not complaining, but some of the rules at the Ronald McDonald house are stupid. I feel like a child in high school, shaking my head. Do you feel like a child in high school, or are you acting like a child in high school, unable to abide by the rules? And our final one is from GonzoFist89. Although I could make another one. I use 10 pounds of real quartz crystals, and you'd be looking at about 4k. I know, but I love the Voltex since I love Arctic Foxes. Well, I'm willing to do another if you would like to commission one. Yes, but make it free. My family do not have hundreds of dollars and free commissions do exist. <laughs> yeah, no, sorry. Please, I cannot afford money. That's a hundred or two hundred or seven hundred or seven seventy five or one thousand or twelve hundred, twelve thousand or four K money, okay? And I can't make Voltuses as art pieces, and even mangle FNAF standing as in drawing. There's such thing as free commissions because there's a Cider app and my friend Reg knows, knows, and the account names are here. Unfortunately, this is not a charity. It is my business and how I pay my bills. No amount of begging is going to change my price. Just because free commissions exists doesn't mean I'm offering them. I know, but can I spend about $10 because I cannot afford thousands of dollars, okay? Like you, I want to add Vulptex pics on hashtag Instagram as a lot of people like Porgs and I am anti-Porg and a part of the hashtag Vulptex nation, hashtag foxes for life. Do you have an online store? I'm pretty sure they do have a store of some type, however, it's probably something that you can't shop at because, oh, I don't know, like their work, it would require payment. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell and drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.